Chihuahuas have the unsavory reputation of being yappy, snappy little dogs. The breed as a whole did not create this behavioral cliché all on their own, but the much of it can be traced back to the owner. You can both stop aggressive problems as well as prevent them all on your own with some of the most common training methods that anyone can do. Before I move on with the video, I want to ask you a simple question. Do you want to train your dog for any basic commands like sit and stay? Do you want to stop any of the behavioral problems of your dog like pooping inside the house, biting, jumping, or barking? If your answer is yes, please grab the free dog training secrets guide in which I have disclosed the deepest dog training secrets that professional dog trainers don't want you to know about. These training secrets would help you have a well-behaved, super intelligent, smart and obedient dog without spending hours in training him or her. This secret training technique ebook is available for free only for a limited time. So go and grab it before it's too late. Link to the free ebook and training videos is in the description below. Why are Chihuahuas aggressive? The fact is that Chihuahuas are not aggressive, but they can be reserved towards strangers and other animals. Chihuahuas were bred for generations as loving and loyal small companions for humans, and were never really meant to be social butterflies or dogs that share their toys. Today's Chihuahuas may bond with only one or two people, but they can be accepting and relaxed around other people and pets if taught properly. A behavioral condition known as small dog syndrome runs rampant among all small dog breeds, and is most prominent among the smallest of small breeds, especially Chihuahuas. Small dog syndrome is not a health condition, nor is it something that any dog, no matter his genes has ever been born with. Many times small dog syndrome is a direct result of improper or a total lack of basic obedience training, house training and boundary control. In other words, if your dog has developed small dog syndrome you are the cause, however you are also the solution. Preventing your Chihuahua's aggression. If you have not yet adopted your Chihuahua, or are currently working towards properly and successfully raising your own Chihuahua puppy then you have the ability to prevent aggression and fear-based behaviors through the use of socialization, basic obedience and boundary control. You have the opportunity to teach your dog to follow your command, and that he is safe. He will also learn to respect your commands and your requests, but not out of fear or domination. Dogs of all ages can continue socialization, but puppies are exceptional as they go through two fear periods, one from 4 to 12 weeks and the other at 7 or 8 months of age. These fear periods help to hardwire their minds as to how they should react in situations that would normally cause fear. If you can create safe and planned socialization experiences, most puppies only take about 5 minutes to learn. Curing your Chihuahua's aggression. If you have recently adopted an older Chihuahua, are fostering one or your little one already has the symptoms of small dog syndrome and aggression, know that there is indeed hope. You can help your dog overcome his fearful and aggressive tendency so that he may become a more comfortable and happier companion. Two types of training can be involved. One is called counter conditioning which works best for reactive barkers in which they change how they feel about their trigger. For example, if your chihuahua barks at the sound of door knocking then you can change his emotions from fearful to relaxed and calm. The other training method is called shaping in which you help to guide your dog into doing the right thing through positive reinforcement. Shaping works for almost any behavior you want to train your train you chihuahua to do from sit to letting you take a toy or treat away from him. When you are training your little one to stop resource guarding, you will work on what is called the trading game. You give him a treat in exchange for letting you take a toy from him. You start with a high-value treat and a low-value toy. He will want the treat more than the toy. Then, build up to using a high-value toy and a lower-value treat, like kibble. It takes time and practice, but remember to keep training sessions short and always end on a good note. If your chihuahua is barking reactively at the door when guests arrive, then you start in a calm and quiet situation on the floor with your pet. Knock on the wall beside you just once and lightly, and immediately reward him. You want him to learn that the sound a precursor to getting a treat, 
but you want to keep him under his threshold so he does not get carried away barking. Do you want to have a well-behaved, obedient and calm pet dog without spending hours in training him? Check out the first link in the description and download the Secret Training Technique Guide absolutely free. It is available for free only for a limited period of time. Thanks for watching the video. Comment below if you liked the video. Please subscribe to the channel, Little Paws Training, if you are serious about training and grooming your dog. Also, join our Facebook group where you get all the solutions to your daily doggy problems.